Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Earth Math Channel. Sa video na to ay i-discuss ko kung paano i-reduce ang fractions to lowest terms. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. So bago tayo mag-proceed sa process ng pagre-reduce ng fractions to lowest term, ay bigyan ko muna kayo ng konting concept about dito. So, masasabi natin na ang fraction ay nasa lowest term na kung ang greatest common factor na lang ng numerator at ang denominator ay 1. So, for example, 2 thirds. So, we know that 2 thirds is already in its simplest form. Dahil, ang greatest common factor na lang ng numerator, which is 2, at ang denominator, which is 3, ay 1 na lang. So, wala na silang common factor aside sa 1. What else? 4 fifths. So, again, lowest term na tong 4 fifths kasi wala na silang greatest common factor aside sa 1. How about 3, 9? So, 3, 9 is not yet in lowest term dahil meron pang greatest common factor yung numerator na 3 at yung denominator na 9, which is 3, right? So, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung videos ko about finding the GCF as well as LCM of fractions, ay pwede nyo muna itong panoorin para madali kayong makasabay sa topic na to. Since kailangan natin ng GCF, para mag-reduce tayo ng fractions to lowest term. So, meron akong two videos, meron general approach, saka listing method. So, pwede nyo muna yung i-check para maintindihan nyo yung paghahanap natin ng GCF. So, so sa 3.9, sabi nga natin na meron pa silang greatest common factor. So, ano yung greatest common factor ng 3 at 9? So, kung i-list natin yung factors ng 3 at 9, Let's use the listing method. We have 1 and 3, right? And for 9, we have 1 and 9 and 3 and 3. Since 3 times 3 is 9, right? So what is the greatest common factor? 3, right? So this is, this is the greatest common factor of 3 and 9. So therefore, in order for us to reduce 3 over 9 into its lowest term, we simply divide both the numerator and denominator by the GCF. So we have 3 divided by 3 for the numerator and 9 divided by 3 for the denominator. So 3 divided by 3 is 1 and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So therefore, 3 over 9 is equal to 1 third in its simplest form. So that's the first way to convert a fraction into lowest term. You just simply divide both the numerator and denominator by their GCF. So another way is that you can use prime factorization to both the numerator and denominator. At i-cancel nyo yung whatever is common. So kung gagawin natin yun, Ang prime factorization ng 3 ay 3, li 3 lang, right? Since prime number naman na yung 3. And sa 9, we have 3 times 3. So therefore, we have a common factor of 3 and 3 in numerator and denominator. And then, no more. So therefore, it is equal now to so, it is the same as 3 times 1, right? So, therefore, you are left with 1 only on the numerator and then 3 only on the denominator. So, it is the same as 1 third. So, that is also cancellation process. So, when you factor the numerator and denominator and they have a common factor, you can cancel them out so that they will be equal to 1. And therefore you reduce the fraction to lowest term. So, another way is that 
if you're not certain about the GCF of a number and it's obvious that they have a common factor or they are both divisible by a same number, pwede nyo na silang i-divide agad doon sa number na yon. And then, kung napansin nyo na after dividing doon sa number na yon, ay hindi pa sila, in, hindi pa nasa lowest term yung fraction, ay pwede nyo pa ulit i-divide sa number na sa tingin nyo ay obvious na divisible pareho yung numerator at denominator. So, in that sense, papasok yung divisibility rules. So, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung divisibility rules, ay pwede nyo pang panoorin yung video ko about doon. Kasi, way nyo yun para ma-determine kung divisible ba yung, yung numerator at saka yung denominator both sa isang number. So, halimbawa, let's try another example. Reduce 126 over 154 to lowest term. So, kung gagawin natin yung GCF, mahirap hanapin, right? Kasi isipin mo pa yung factor ng 126 over 154. Pero, kung gaya nung sinabi ko, kung i-divide natin agad yung numerator and, denom and denominator sa isang number na sa tiningin natin ay obvious na divisible sila pareho, But mas magiging madali yung pag-reduce natin ng lowest term. So, gawin natin yun sa example. So, 126, ang numerator at ang denominator natin ay 154. So, obviously, pareho silang divisible by 2 since 126 is even and 154 is even. So, therefore, we can divide both numerator and denominator by 2. So, we have 126 divided by 2, 124, 154 divided by 2. So, we have 126 divided by 2 is... 63 and 154 divided by 2 is 77 so again notice na yung 63 over 77 ay hindi pa lowest term ano sa tingin yung common factor nila 7 right since 63 is divisible by 7 and 77 is also divisible by 7 so, pwede pa natin uling i-divide both numerator and denominator sa 7. So, therefore, we have 63 divided by 7 and 77 divided by 7. So, we have 63 divided by 7 is 9 and 77 divided by 7 is 11. Therefore, our final answer is 9 over 11 kasi wala na tayong greatest common factor pa ng 9 at 11 other than 1. So, kung na-notice nyo, inisa-isa natin i-divide yung fraction sa tingin natin na obvious nilang common factor. And then, after dividing at nakita natin na yung result ay hindi pa reduce sa lowest term, then, pwede pa natin uli i-divide sa obvious na common factor ng numerator and denominator hanggang sa mag-end up tayo sa lowest term. So, therefore, ang GCF nyan, kung titignan natin, since nag-divide tayo ng 2 at 7, simply ang gisip nila ay 2 times 7 which is equal to 14. Right? So kung yung unang process na ginawa natin, i-divide natin sa gisip yung numerator and denominator. Same lang. So we will divide 126 by 14 and 154 by 14 we will still get the same answer of 9 over 11. And then, kung prime factorization din, ganun din. So, ang prime factorization ng 126 ay, what? 2 and 63. And then, 7 and 9. Three and three. So we have one twenty six is equal to two times three times three times seven. And for one fifty four, we have two times seventy seven. Seventy seven is equal to seven times eleven. So we have 
154 is equal to 2 times 7 times 11. So again, tulad ng ginawa natin kanina, yung nag-cancel tayo ng common sa numerator and denominator, pwede na natin gawin dito yon So magiging, meron tayong makakancel na 2, meron tayong makakancel na 7 and 7, at wala na. So kung whatever is natira sa numerator, perform lang natin yung multiplication. So 3 times 3 is 9. And since 11 lang natira dito, wala na tayong multiply copy na lang natin na 11. So, therefore, 9 over 11. So, whatever way of reducing fraction to lowest term is easier for you, uh, pwede naman as long as ma-reduce mo siya sa lowest term. Kasi pare-pareho lang naman magka-come up. Either hanapin mo yung GCF agad o i-prime factor mo then cancel yung common sa numerator and denominator. O kaya, divide mo one at a time sa so, tingin mo na common factor na ng numerator at denominator. Kung mahirap hanapin agad yung GCF nila. So, that's how to reduce fractions to lowest term. Sana ay may tutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.